states and properties of matter 3.1 gases look at the picture of a glass of soda write the labels for solid liquid and gas in the correct places on the picture solid would be the glass liquid is the water or the soda and gas are the bubbles Use the words in the box to complete the sentences about the states of matter. Solids, liquids and gases are the three states of matter. All matter is made of tiny particles. Oxygen is an example of a gas. A rock is an example of a solid. And vinegar is an example of liquid. Air is a mixture of gases. Say why this is so. Air is a mixture of gases because it is made up of gases like nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide and water vapor. You have the particles of matter. Draw the particles in each box below to represent a solid, a liquid and a gas. So the solid is the particles that are tightly packed. Liquid are where the particles are a little bit looser packed. And gas is where the particles are widely spread. Fill in the table to describe how particles move in the different states of matter. Fill in the table to describe how particles move in the different states of matter. In solid, the particles hardly move. In liquid, they move quite a lot. And in gas, it moves the most. Do the particles move apart, move far apart or shake in one place? For solids, they shake in one place. For liquids, they move a lot. And in gases, they move far apart. Look at the pictures of particles in the two syringes A and B. Which syringe do you think contains water and which syringe contains air? Syringe A contains water and syringe B contains air. Explain your answer using the particle model. In syringe A, there are many particles that are tied closely together but not as tightly packed as in a solid. In syringe B, there are very fewer particles and they are far apart, so they are gas. If you hold your finger over the open end of the syringes, which plunger will be easier to push down? Use the particle model to explain why. The plunger of syringe B is easier to push down because there is a lot of space between the gas particles. When you push down the plunger, the particles move into the empty spaces and this makes the gases easier to compress.